Come on. Come on. Not even the dog feels safe entering our airplane. That is not a good sign. Way back at the beginning of our story, when the nose of our airplane fell off, we actually ended up removing the floor of the airplane to see underneath so that David could get a better idea of how to refasten the nose of the airplane back onto the fuselage portion of the airplane. While he was down there, he found several different treasures along with a giant mess. All right, so the other thing I want to show you is there's this fan here. I don't know if you can see that. And then he'll hold that. Look, it's blown on these things. I don't know what they are. They're like heat sink things or something. They got, they're round with a bunch of fingers sticking up. And it looks like a fuse, so I don't know what that's for. But stay on that fan. I'll get the switch over here. I don't know if you can hear that, but that fan has power to it. I don't know what that's all about, but pretty neat. So we're gonna have to make that floor removable so that we can get to that stuff if we need to. With the treasures, ductwork, and many, many wires, there were also lots of pieces of wood that we found to be very, very useful when it came time to rivet the airplane back together. David actually pieced these pieces in to better secure the nose of the airplane onto the fuselage. But after fixing the airplane, it was time to start think about repairing the floor. The floor was in such bad condition because there was a seal around the door of the airplane that was leaking. I shouldn't be using past tense really because it's actually still leaking. Door seal, look at, see it leaking coming in here? Problem with that is the flooring, it's rotted out, so it's flooring. So we're gonna have to figure out a way. I don't know if anybody on YouTube, I mean, this seal looks good quality, but obviously it's not sealing as well as it should. I don't know exactly the best way to get that to start working again. I don't really wanna replace it because I guarantee anything I buy is not gonna be as good a quality as that. It's hard to find actually good quality stuff, commercial grade. So, I don't know. Since we're covering the airplane with a tarp anyways, we figured now was as good a time as any to go ahead and repair the floor. First though, we do need to clean under there because as you can see, it's pretty grody. Uh, I gotta focus on something I'm able to do, which is clean the bottom of the airplane out or underneath the floor. So if you've ever seen underneath the plane, here we go. Well, underneath where you're walking. Hopefully it doesn't look like this nasty. I'm thinking that with the floors being out, not being used as a regular passenger airplane, it being converted for other things. Definitely a big mess down here. It's just not good. So we're going to clean this up. If I have extra time, I'm going to try to put the floor, um, new floor pieces in because if you can see here, we've got some rot. Uh, that's due to one of the door seals leaking. So we want to make sure it's safe to walk on and everything like that. Plus, if you've seen us coming in and out of this thing, it's a little hazardous. And plus, our kids are running in and out of this thing, so we want to make sure it's safe. It's not very often you get to do the crappy job, so I'm enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're welcome to do it if you want. No, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks right. for the offer. We'll see if we can get this cleaned up and then a floor back on.
All right, since this was just being held up by the wood, which didn't make any sense, it was just screwed here. There's no other holes here. So I'm gonna just slide it over to this point. It'll give that same support as needed. It's a little angled, no big deal, but you got this support as well. But by going to this bigger hole, it's gonna let this head slip, sit flush with the, well, almost flush. So that it doesn't lift that floor up, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Gotta find the right size drill here. We're just gonna make it a little easier on ourselves. Let's see if this is gonna work for us. Next, David decided to take that small piece of wood that had been rotting and replace it with a new, fresh piece. He found some scrap wood out in his pole barn, measured the old piece up against the new piece, and basically made an identical copy that he could just slip into the old rotted wood's place. Thankfully the new piece fit like a glove and David was able to then fit the other larger piece in right next to it and we were good to go. Of course this floor isn't exactly bougie just yet, but when we do the rest of the flooring and the remainder of the airplane we will be sure to cover this area as well, but for now it's safe for us and our kids and the dog to go in and out without having to worry about falling into a giant hole. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, our soon-to-be tiny home airplane is filled with treasures. If you missed our last video where we talked about not only these gold pins that we found, but also four other cool things that we found in our airplane, check out this video popping up on your screen right now. If you've already seen it, thanks so much for being one of our OG subscribers. We're so glad to have you here. We can't wait to see you in next week's video.